uh, we begin. In this video, we're going to look at calculations involving time. Let's look at some tips. Firstly, there's 60 minutes in an hour. So every time we get to 60, that's going to be an over hour. There's 24 hours in a day. And just be careful whenever you're adding times. You don't add them like you add normal numbers. So don't use the column method and try and add times that way. It's easier to consider how many minutes it would take to get to the next hour and so on. So let's have a look at some examples. So a television program starts at quarter to eight. So quarter to eight would be 7.45. And it lasts for 25 minutes. So it's going to last for 25 minutes. So to get to the next hour, which would be 8 o'clock, we would add 15 minutes because quarter to 8, well, then another 10 minutes would be 5 to, and another 5 minutes would be 8 o'clock. So it would take 15 minutes to get to the next hour. And altogether, the program lasts for 25 minutes. So that means there's another 10 minutes to go. So another 10 minutes. So the time would be. 10 past 8. Let's just check that. 15 minutes to get to 8 o'clock, and over 10 minutes would be 10 past 8. And then that means the program altogether has lasted for 25 minutes. So what time does it end? 10 past 8. So 8, 10. You could write that in words, 10 past 8 if you wanted to, uh, and so on. We don't know if it's AM or PM though. Um, later there's a film that lasted for 1 hour 50 minutes, and a quiz that lasted for 45 minutes. What is the total time for this film and the quiz? So be careful here, we've got hours and we've got minutes. So we've got one hour, 50 minutes. The easiest way I think to do this question is to change the one hour, 50 minutes into minutes, add on the quiz minutes to see how many minutes there are in total, and then see how many hours that is. So one hour, 50 minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes and 50 minutes. So altogether, whenever you're adding that up, whenever you add the minutes up, you're gonna get 110 minutes. So the film lasts for 110 minutes, and the quiz lasts for 45 minutes. So we're going to do 110 minutes plus 45 minutes is equal to 155 minutes. So that means that altogether it's 155 minutes, but the question has given us a box for hours and minutes. So remember every hour is 60 minutes, so that would be 60, and a number 60 would be 120 minutes, but we've got 155. So that means that we've got one, two, three hours would be 180 minutes. So if we don't go up to three hours, it's gonna be two hours, which is 120. And then you've got to get to 55. So from 20 to 55 would be another minutes. So the answer would be two hours, 35 minutes. Our next question. A train traveled from London to Plymouth. The journey took four hours, 27 minutes. The train left London at 1.52 p.m or 13.52 hours. What time did it arrive in Plymouth? So, we have got 1.52 is whenever the journey began, 1.52. And it took four hours, 27 minutes. So let's add on our four hours. So adding on four hours would together bring us up to 17.52. That's adding four hours. So that's adding four hours and it's brought us to 17.52 or eight minutes to six. So we've got another 27 minutes. Well, to get us to the next hour, which is 1800 hours or six o'clock, that would be another eight minutes. Okay, so we've done four hours, eight minutes. Let's just see how many minutes would be left then. So we've got 27 and we're gonna take away the eight minutes we've added on. So then that would give us 19 minutes. So we've got 19 more minutes. So we add on our 19 minutes and that would bring us to 18, 19 or 19 minutes past six. Okay, so our technique in this question was to add on the four hours first of all. We were then at 17.52. I knew that 27 minutes would bring us past the next hour. So add on eight minutes to bring us up to six o'clock or 1800 hours and see how many minutes in that, if we added on eight, see how many minutes that would leave us, that would be 19. So then our answer is 18, 19, or 19 minutes past six in the evening. Okay, and our last question. This time we've got a timetable, and we've got our bus timetable from Shotton to Alton, and the question says, a bus leaves Shotton at 7.30 in the morning, so it's this bus here. Remember, each one of these columns is a bus. So that's bus one, bus two, bus three, bus four, and bus five. So each bus goes from Shotton to Crook to Prudhoe to Hexham to Alton. That's bus one. The next bus, 
the next bus, the next bus, and the last bus. So it says it leaves Shelton at 7.30. So it's this bus here. Okay, so it leaves here at 7.30. What time does it arrive in Alton? Well, it arrives in Alton at 8.30. Okay, the next question says, another bus leaves Prudhoe, so Prudhoe at 8.28. So that's going to be this time here, so it's this bus here. It says, how many minutes should it take to get to Hexham? So it's leaving Prudhoe at 8.28, and it gets to Hexham at 8.45. So it gets out at 8.45, and leaves at 8.28. So we need to see how many minutes it would take to get from 28 minutes past eight to 45 minutes past eight. So we just need to take away the 28 from the 45. So 45 minus 28 would take us 17 minutes. So the answer is 17 minutes. Okay, and finally, Serena lives in Crook. So she lives in Crook and she has to be in Hexham by quarter past 11. What is the time of the latest bus she can catch from Crook to arrive in Hexham by quarter past 11? See, she lives in Crook, so she can get five buses a day from Crook, or five buses as part of this timetable. So she can get these five buses. She can get it at 7.45, 8.15, 9.15, 10.15, and 11.15. And she needs to be in Hexham, so she needs to get to Hexham, so it's going to be any one of these five times she can get to Hexham for. So if she gets this bus, she can get there at 8.15. If she gets this bus, she can get there at 8.45. If she gets this bus, she can get there at 9.45. If she gets this bus, she can get there at 10.45. And if she gets this bus, she can get there at 11.45. Now she needs to be there about quarter past 11, so that's 11.15. So let's just check. So this one would work, so she could get that one, she could get that one, she could get that one, she could get that one. But she couldn't get this one because that would get her to Hexham by 11.45, so that one's too late. It says, what is the latest bus she can get? Well, if she gets a 10.15 bus, she can get there for 10.45. So that's the closest one that we get her there with time to spare or before the quarter past 11. So what bus must she catch from Crook? Or what is the time of the latest bus she can catch from Crook? It's gonna be this bus. So the time of the bus from Crook would be 10.15.